that I did with Arctic Silver 2. Here's some isopropyl alcohol wipes. Um, just take one of those out. And the stuff that comes on these from the factory is really thick, goopy paste. And it's so thick that that's why there's an overheating problem. If you look online on how to apply thermal compound, um, let me show you just using a little dot. So if you cake it on thick, it actually acts as an insulator, and then you don't get good connection between your processors and your. Um, you kind of want to. I'm getting it all over these little surface mount resistors and such. And if you're careful, speed up or slow down to speed up. That's how they say it. So it, you can wipe it off without <laughs> smearing it over these things. It's a little easier. Because then you don't have to... It's supposed to be non-conductive. I just don't want to take any chance. And the stuff they use is, it just gets smeared everywhere. Alright, so you should have really shiny chips once you're done. And then take do the same thing on the, your fan and heatsink assembly, just um, clean it off there. It's probably better to just kind of wipe it instead of smearing it all over the place. And get those nice and shiny. Um, Alright, and then, okay, this is, uh, this was the other, the i5 uh, fan and heat sink, and you'll notice, um, the i7 fan compared to the i5 fan is much bigger, it moves a lot more air, it actually spins really fast, sounds like a hair dryer, this i5 um, fan heat sink. It's got the two heat sinks, but <clears throat> the fan isn't as good, so yeah, it works about the same as far as I've seen on my temperatures, um, but it heats up faster with this fan and when I'm really stressing the CPUs. <clears throat> so somebody said, well, I used uh, copper plates, and well, I did that because it was actually worse than my i7 until I did the little copper plates. I said, just need to bend the tabs. Well. I was going to try it, and I tried bending the tab, and I don't know where the other piece went, but you can see I broke off the tab. This is magnesium. Do not try bending this stuff. It, it uh, breaks real easy. See that? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the only tabs you can bend are on this GPU. This is like... This is not magnesium, this is tin or aluminum or something. So you just want to, well, we can see that, but just bend them a tiny little bit um, this direction, like that, with some needle nose pliers. I just grabbed it right here, uh, like right here with some needle nose and bend it away from the motherboard. <clears throat> Just a tiny little bit. A little bit is a long way. Alright, <clears throat> and then take uh, your thermal compound and just use a tiny little bit. And since these are kind of long, I do a, a line. It's just a really thin, tiny amount. That's all it takes. <clears throat> Uh, I read reviews, there's an extended review I think on Tom's Hardware on how to apply this stuff and they used a, a tiny dot, a little dot, and a large dot and they got better cooling with a small dot. Tiny dot and little dots work the same. That's actually a lot, but not a whole lot. That's a little dot, not a tiny dot. Anyway, once you got that on there, oh. These are the plates that the thing screws into. 
got some sticky stuff, but again, I've done this so many times, my plates fall off. So you won't have any screw posts to attach to if you don't have that on there. And it fell out again. Um, don't stick your finger on the thermal paste. So you try to align this up right on so you don't smear it too much. Basically the compression on here is going to uh, spread that thermal compound out for you. Um, I used to smear it on in an even layer with a little spatula. but actually have lower temperatures using this method. Alright, <clears throat> and then uh, I think the back of this thing fell out and you can put it in again and hold it there while you screw in the other bits. And you don't have to torque these down as tight as you can, just as soon as they stop, you're good. Don't get all gorilla on it. And uh, don't stand on the carpet, I don't know, stay away from static electricity, however you feel you can do that. You don't have to zap anything. Um, the other thing is this right here. Um, This is not a heat sink. This is why the right next to the thumb pad gets really hot. Is this isn't a heat sink. Uh, I tried putting thermal paste on there real thick, and it kind of helps. Um, but on this other laptop over here, I actually use <clears throat> the thin copper plates that I cut off of the. This is unnecessary, this is just, I mean, this won't bring down your system temperatures, this will just kind of help. I don't even know if it helps cool down the, um, the wrist area where it gets real hot and burns your wrist if you're using the keyboard on the laptop. Um, <clears throat> but I'm trying it, if, I'm going to try to find a, a heat sink that is this big and use that. Um, I'm going to go get a copper plate. Pause this in the meantime.